Betty over here at Stacy's Kitchen. And today, I find the need to talk about our jerk burger. So, I'm gonna go into it, show you how I prepare it, what it looks like before I prepare it, how it's cooked, and the finished product. Let's take this journey. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we need for a jerk burger is ground beef. Now look, there are a lot of restaurants, they buy the pre-packaged frozen uh, hamburgers, and then when someone orders, they turn around and they throw that frozen patty on the fire. We don't do that. We buy our ground beef fresh, we season it with our unique blended spices of jerk marinade that we make in-house. We've got probably over 20 spices that we put, and this is, this is what it looks like before we cook it. It's fresh. The color that you see is the actual seasoning that's in the meat. You got pimento, you got allspice, you got bay leaves, you got salt, pepper, you got paprika, you got all type of stuff in here. And if you think I was going to give you all the ingredients, you're crazy. But what we typically do is when a customer orders one, we come and we grab a handful of beef and then we make a patty out of it. We make it into an actual uh, uh, jerk burger shape. And then we take this, and this is what we'll actually turn around and grill. That's, that's almost a quarter pound of beef right there. You get your money's worth. It's, it's hard, it's a hearty fill. And I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so I got the jerk burger made. You can see, I mean, you can see the seasoning on my gloves. But what I want you to see is how we cook it. Now, this is a fresh beef patty. We use a, I think a 73 mix. So it's got a nice fat. Fat melts in the fire, which gives it that nice taste, and all the spices come to life once we cook it. But I want you to see the grill. We use the charcoal to light the wood. Get, get, get a look at that. So you can see the wood is actually burning right now. And I'm going to take this patty and I'm going to put it right over that wood, just like that. And we're going to let that cook fresh. So when a customer orders one, it's made fresh to order. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back. So we've been cooking the uh, beef patty now for about uh, seven minutes. I'm gonna take a look at it, I'm gonna flip it. I also got a piece of bacon on there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. This is the first flip. Okay, there you go. So it, it cooked probably about uh, one third down. I flipped it over. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let it continue to cook on the opposite side and I'm gonna close the grill so all of that smoke it's going to go right into the beef patty and the bacon that we got on the side right here. We take that off the fire. We let this cook for a little bit. Check it out. All right, we're back. We're almost done. Walk through this whole process. So I added some cheese to the top of the jerk burger right here. We're going to let that melt down. In the meantime, we're going to dress up the bun. We got some fresh potato bun, seeded. It's a great size. I'm just letting it. Go ahead and toast like that. We'll take this side off. Rest that here. We'll let this side toast a little bit in the fire. Doesn't take very long because it's bread. Here we go. It depends on how you like it. Most of our customers like it with everything on it. So what I'll do is take some of this mayonnaise right here, put it on here. Take some on here, put it on here as well. And what I like to do is we keep the camera here on the mayonnaise. Let me get some jerk sauce. I like to put a little bit of flavor, a little bit of our homemade jerk sauce in the middle on both sides. So when you bite, the first thing you get are those jerk juices. Alright. Now what we'll do is We'll actually add the burger to one side, all right? And then we'll dress it up accordingly. Um, I like to put a nice juicy piece of tomato right here in the middle. I like to put some nice, nice piece of onion across the middle, some pickles. You got the little smiley face going on. You know, it's like he's talking to me saying, yeah, man, wicked, you know. 
And on top of that, I'm going to add a fresh piece of lettuce. Right here. Right here. And right here. Okay, now what's missing is bacon. We'll add the bacon. I like to break that up into pieces. Now the only thing I need on top of this burger to finish it off with some jerk sauce. So keep it there. You're gonna get that right in the middle. Now you need to understand this jerk sauce was made from scratch. Using scotch bonnet, pepper, a whole bunch of seasonings. This is nothing but pure flavor. I mean, you, the only way you're gonna get this is to eat at Stacy's Kitchen. And you take your top, and you finish your burger off, something like that. Now, I don't know if you can zoom in. I want you to see the juices that run off when I squeeze. You see that juices coming out the bottom? That's all flavor. So, go ahead and zoom out. And that's our jerk burger. Come on. Sir, what's up, sir? What did you eat today, man? Stacey's Kitchen, the best. What, what you get? What the jerk burger. How was it? Off the chain. Off the chain. And really, not like, <laughs> not like off the chain though. Come eat at Stacey's Kitchen. Yeah. I, today, I, <laughs> I got the uh, Jamaican jerk burger. It's, it's one of a kind. It's, the, it's really the best. Better than McDonald's. Better than Burger King, better than the restaurant gourmet burgers. It's, it's really the best. This is quiet taste, one of a kind. Good. I'm, I'm not, I'm not Where, lying. Where's it at? Oh, it's at Stacy's Kitchen, right here on. No, right with a burger we gave you like five minutes ago. You ate it? Oh, oh it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah. It's gone. It's processed down in my intestines. Man, just let people know, are we paying you to say this? Nah, nah. So this is genuine. Nah. Yeah, this is genuine. That's what's up. Nah, I don't need to shark cut it or nothing. It's, Come to Stacey's Kitchen, you get you a good burger. A good burger. Yeah. What you got today, sir? The Jerk Burger, once again. It is the greatest burger in the What's this for? That was Arlington. 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 Right here in Arlington. Oh, so, so you had it before? Had it before. And you came back and get it again? Came back and get it again. I get it every time, actually. My wife and kids get chicken. But Man, have burger. you had burgers at other places before? Yes. Okay, so what do you rate us? The only other burger I've had in Texas was Whataburger. No comparison. This is hands down. It just body slams, power drives. <laughs> Five star yelp. There you go. Five star yelp. Five stars. If you want, I like cooking. Yeah. You have to call Stacy's Kitchen. Jerk For the great jerk chicken. You have to call Stacy's Kitchen And if you're looking for Jamaican chicken You have to call Stacy's Kitchen If you want island cooking Call Stacy's Kitchen You're making me crazy